Still hunting down the new intel for Firebase Z? Well then you're at the right video. Today, I'll be showing you all 75 new pieces of intel added into Cold War Zombies. So to keep things clean and simple, I'll be going over all the intel for each faction one at a time, starting with Requiem. There are four audio logs for Requiem hidden around the map, and the first one is located above Ravenov at spawn, sitting on a bench. The next piece is sitting next to a chair in the first room of Military Command. Log number three is on the bottom floor of the data center, sitting on a table in the back. And once you grab that intel, head on outside to the rocky defense area near where the mystery box spawns, and look up. There should be a piece of intel hanging up there, so go ahead and shoot it down. And that's all the Requiem audio logs. Next up are the Requiem radio transmissions, which are obtained on the top floor of Data Center, directly across from Speed Cola. These are pieces of intel that respawn once every new match you play, and the location never varies. However, there are 12 in total that you need to collect for Requiem, so you'll probably be playing quite a few matches. And speaking of respawning intel every match, you'll also need to get four total pieces of Requiem document intel as well. Well, documents are collected by killing mimics and manglers, and I think you can only get like two or three per game. Spoiler alert, all of the factions have documents and radio transmissions to collect. The last four pieces of intel for Requiem are artifacts from the free Ray K easter egg. You'll need to get the blueprint, the weapon trough folder, Cool K's diary, and the weapon itself. Just to tell you now, you'll need to get Kukle's diary from inside one of the lockers in the barracks area, so just keep opening lockers until you eventually find it. And as for the other stuff, I already showed you how to get the free Reike in my easter egg guide for this map, so if you need to see it, please go check that thing out at any point. Next up, Omega. The first audio log from Omega is found in Engineering, sitting on a pipe as soon as you enter, shoot it down and pick it up. Right above engineering, in the planning offices, you'll find your next piece of intel sitting underneath the table near the stairs. Make your way forward to mission control to find the next piece to your left on the top of the stairs. Head outside to the scorched defense area and go to the top of the structure and look to your left. Go to the field hospital to find your next piece. It should be sitting on a cart near the place where you mix the truth serum for the easter egg. Inside the weapons lab, directly behind the Ray K blueprint, is another log. Then go to the colonel's office and look under his desk for another piece of intel. And this last log is probably the worst out of all of them because it's locked behind the doors to the OPC, which can only be opened after you complete the mimic step of the easter egg. Again, if you need to refer to my guide, feel free to. Just like Requiem, Omega also has a few radio transmissions to collect, but thankfully there's only four of them in total. They can be found in Peck's quarters in the village at spawn. Again, these respawn once every match, so you'll need to play at least four games to get all of these. And there are also six documents you'll need to collect from Mimics and Manglers for Omega as well. And last but not least, here are the five artifacts you'll need to collect from Omega. I'll tell you up front though, you'll need to beat like half of the easter egg on this map for these. First is Cool Clay's Eye from the Ray K easter egg. Next is Ravanov's ID badge. Then the agent delivery system, that's the machine that mixes the truth serum. The essence trap, the thing that captures the mimics. And lastly, the ether meter, the device that helps you find the buried ether crystals. Yo, that guide I mentioned before? Alright, time to cover the Maxis intel, which just so happens to be the shortest list on this map. We've only got three main logs to recover this time, but they're hidden well. Log number one is hidden above the armor stand at spawn. It's kind of hard to see, but just shoot it down and pick it up. This next one is also in spawn, in the equipment storage room near Quick Revive. It's hidden on a bookshelf on the lower floor. And the last one is hidden in one of the barracks lockers that can be opened for the free Ray K easter egg. Also, a bonus Maxis log can be found directly above the entrance to engineering, leaning on the back of the OPC. I found this one on accident, but it doesn't hurt to go ahead and grab this just in case. The radio transmissions can be found in the trenches of the rocky defense area. You can get 7 of these in total, and they'll respawn once per game. And just like the other factions, you'll need to kill Mimics and Manglers for the four intel documents. And last but certainly not least, the Dark Aether intel. This intel is unlike the previous intel we covered because it's only available through trials. Basically, if you go to the trial machine and see a folder image on the screen, that is your intel challenge waiting to be activated. Just go ahead and pay for the challenge and then complete it to receive your intel. You'll have to return to the computer to get your intel, but if you fail the challenge, then you'll just have to wait for the computer to cycle you another one. But you only get three chances at intel per match, so if you've already been through three intel trials in one game, you'll have to play another match for more chances. There should be about 50 pieces of intel in total that you'll have to get through trials here. And as for the final piece of intel for all of Firebase Z, it is 
the canister. So this piece was bugged for a while. During the Easter egg, you have to collect three canisters containing dark ether crystals around the map. But for some reason, when you collected the last canister, the intel never appeared due to a glitch. But now, if you go and collect that final canister during the Easter egg, you actually will be given the final intel. God, this game just loves riling up people's OCD, I swear. I hope this guide was able to help you guys out. Getting intel can definitely be a pain at times, but I actually kind of enjoy it. Anyways, good luck with getting your intel, and I'll hopefully see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.